Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you my filming setup and lighting. I really hope you enjoy it and I really hope it's useful for you guys. It is more of a beginner's guide. It's definitely not overly fancy or overly expensive or anything like that, but I really hope it's useful. It was highly requested um, from some of you guys. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So I might start off with the room tour first and I'll point out a few things that I use and then I will um, come back down, sit down with you guys and talk you through exactly what I do and what I use later on. So the first thing you see when you walk into my filming room is my makeup desk. So um, I have my makeup collection, uh, well the majority of it in here, ready to go. So I've got this little rug is from Ishka, my chair is from Bed Bath & Table and these drawers either side are the Alex drawers from Ikea. I absolutely love um, the setup, it keeps everything so clean and tidy and close together. Sorry about the lighting in here at the moment, it's getting really late in the afternoon but this is usually what I would do my makeup in front of every day is this window, hideous view I know. Um, on my desk I have um, just a couple of things, brushes, a lamp, my mirror, little pineapple with all my cottons in there like little Swispers, Bioderma and a candle. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to see a makeup collection video, just let me know, but I won't go through everything that's in there today. Um, in this corner here, I have my ring light and one of my soft boxes. I leave these sort of set up like that all the time because they're a pain in the butt to put down and put back up again whenever I want to film. So I've got that there. And then in the middle here is some organized chaos. It looks so messy, I know. You guys pretty much just see this view whenever I film so it does sort of keep things sort of neat and tidy but this is in reality is what I've got going on behind the scenes here so heaps of stuff everywhere I will go through um everything in that little cube unit when my lights are on and a bit brighter for you guys in this corner I have another soft box which was purchased as a pair with the other one from eBay and my tripod along with a little extension lead and my camera charger down there. So I'll go ahead and switch the lights on and I'll get back to you guys in a moment. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the lights set up. So I've got a softbox um, on either side, which as I said before were purchased from eBay as was this ring light here. Um, now all this equipment was actually really reasonable. A lot of camera and lighting equipment can be super expensive, so I highly recommend um, these ones from eBay. I'll try and find the link. I think it was $50 for the pair, so for both of the soft boxes, and my ring light was about $90. So I thought that was really reasonable, considering most ring lights can be like $300 or whatever, which is way too much for my liking. So I'll just go ahead and zoom up. So this is, for the purpose of the video, I'll be holding the camera, but usually I will have a tripod. So my camera sits in the ring light here and zooms in and this is pretty much what you guys see um, is a view of that with me sitting in the middle of the chair there. So this is what I see when I'm filming. So I have a ring light um, there and I've just popped some baking paper on the edges. It is extremely bright and it does sort of really, really hurt your eyes. I think you can get special um, sleeves and things to put on that so that's why I pop the baking paper on. To my left I have the um, soft box there and then to my right I have the other soft box um, there. So the purpose of the soft boxes are purely just to sort of light up the background and the ring light lights up my face and creates a nice sort of glow rather than casting any harsh shadows or lines or anything like that. So now I'll just go through everything that's on my background at the moment. So at the moment I have um, this little deer picture and that is from Typo. That was a few years ago but Typo always have really, really nice um, canvases so I'm sure you'd be able to pick something similar up there. I have a little candle holder. I absolutely love this rose gold one. It's by Lisa T for Target and I just have a plain old um, unscented tea light in there. And then I have this really cute little vase which is from like a $2 discount store and some fake peony roses which I absolutely love. I think I love the colours and the pastels. Um, over here I have a candle. This one's from Glass House. I believe it's the frosting scent which is so nice. I absolutely love it. And then I have a Lisa T um, from Target Clock which is again in the nice rose gold um, shade which I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Everything seems to be rose gold and I really really like it. Then I have this little light here. You can't even tell it's on but I assure you it is. It's also from Typo um, which I really like and it just gives sort of that nice little candlelit glow in the background of my videos which I really really like and you guys seem to compliment on that one all the time too so thank you. 
So everything else that's in here is hidden, but it is there for a reason. I do change out my background all the time, as you guys might know. So I do have backups of um, a few little decor items that I will go through with you now. So in this little hole here, I have some more um, Lisa T items from Target. So some really nice candle holders. I love these. I think they're just gorgeous. So they were on sale, I think. I think I got mine for $10. Um, which I really like and I use them throughout the house as well in my room and all that sort of thing So they are a really good buy um, I love the rose golds again, and then I have this plain nice white one, which I really like as well um, So yeah, I just pop little candles in there, which is quite cute So in this little hidey hole, I have some more candle items I've got these little glass holders from Ikea which were super reasonable and they're so cute. They go with any background. I think they were like a dollar if that. So I can recommend those. I've also got some candlestick holders from Target. A nice big white one and a nice grey one. They just add really nice depth and height to the background. Because that's one thing um, I can sometimes struggle with is getting some nice height in there. So I really like those. And then um, down here I have some fake tulips which are really nice. These ones actually... Um, you can put water in the vase, which looks really real, so they're nice. And then I have this um, painted mason jar from the Reject Shop. Um, again, really, really reasonable and really cute in the background. If you can't tell, I love pastel colours, whites, um, and the addition of rose gold. In this little hole, I have some backup candles. Um, I've got these two here, which a beautiful girl made me um, who works at Priceline. And I got those um, Fashion Week, which is really, really nice. So thank you, Jessica. Um, in here, I have some little pillar candles that I burn on top of the candlesticks and some glass house um, boxes of my true glass house candles. So that was the frosting one that I have up there. And how cute is the little doggy? I love sausage dogs. Um, so yeah, frosting and the Taha, the vanilla caramel, which is like a staple. So love those. And I have those burning pretty much all the time. In this window, I just have another light hiding. This one again is from the Reject Shop. Um, I'll turn it on for you guys. So it's just a nice sort of heart-shaped light. Really, really cool. Looks quite good in the background. So I use that one quite often. And then down here, I have um, some little fake plants. So these little guys were from the Reject Shop. They're like little cactuses and little succulents. They're so cute. Um, so yeah, they were super cheap. I think like two or three dollars each, which I love. So I've got three of those and in the back there I have a little lavender type plant. I don't know what he is, but he looks quite cute and the colours go um, well in the background. And then I have these vases with um, some gerbera type plants in there from Ikea, which I really, really like too. So I've got a yellow, a reddy orange and a nice hot pink one there. So the last window I have is down the bottom. That's just pretty much got... Um, some spare tea lights in there from the reject shop again and some target branded batteries which i go through all the time for my life so i'll start off by talking about the camera so the camera i use is a canon eos 70d it's excellent i can highly highly recommend it i just have the standard 18 to 55 millimeter lens turned on to autofocus with the flip screen flipped out that's literally all i do for the filming i don't muck around with the settings or anything like that i find autofocus is the best um, that's particularly why I upgraded to this particular camera. I will show you um, the autofocus. So obviously, um, as you guys can see, most beauty gurus do use this camera just because it focuses so well on particular objects, especially makeup, because makeup can be quite small with little eyeliners and um, fine detail and things like that. So it's excellent for um, autofocusing. You don't, however, have to go out and spend a whole heap of money and buy up big on a big SLR and you know, blow thousands of dollars because it's not about that at all. When you're first starting out, what I did is I literally just had um, my old SLR, which was a Nikon um, 5000D or something like that. And I just used that with natural sunlight and it did work quite well. However, the autofocus was no good. So it wasn't particularly good for filming that camera. But I do think that if you have a good quality camera and natural sun, <coughs> excuse me, if you have a good quality camera and natural sunlight, that is the best option to go for. So yeah, like I said before, definitely don't invest in something that's super expensive and you know you may or may not get a lot of use out of it. Only get something if you're sure you know you're gonna get a lot of use out of it because you can use things like your iPhone or iPad. They're both HD um, quality, excellent video quality. That in front of a 
um, natural sunlight window would be perfect. You don't have to go crazy when you're just starting out. Even your parents like um, video camera or a little um, little tiny pocket camera. Some of those have really HD. Same goes for lighting. When I first started out, I used a window, um, which is actually the best lighting you can use. A full window is excellent. The only reason I don't use mine um, to the left there is because I have to film at night time. So I did invest in some quality um, soft boxes and a ring light, which are actually good quality for the price. So the pair of um, soft boxes that I purchased were off eBay and they were $50 for the pair and the ring light was about $80. So again, not too expensive, but something I'm getting a real lot of use out of just because I can't make use of the natural daylight, which I would highly, highly suggest as being the best um, form of light, especially when starting out. Not even when starting out, all time around sunlight is usually the best, but I can highly recommend these as well. So I'll try and leave the link to the buyer that I bought mine off because they are really, really good quality. So I feel like your background is quite important. It's gonna be something that your viewers remember and look forward to seeing um, each time you film. So I really like um, my background. I love I can change it up with all different products. I get most of mine from the reject shop, $2 shops, anything like that. You don't need to go crazy. Target's great for quality um, looking purchases. I absolutely love Target's decor, especially the Lisa T. Um, collection which I showed you guys some of the stuff I have which is mainly the rose goldy type things I think it's great just to interchange the background makes it a little bit more interesting and you can keep it themed or plain is quite good it's best to go a little bit more plain than too over the top I reckon anything too crazy can sort of um, take away from the video but thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe let me know if it was useful in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye